Um, yeah, so my name is Seth. Um, I'm a sophomore at A&M. Um, okay. And yeah, my major is International Affairs, so I'm in the Bush School. Okay. Um, which is kind of far that way. Yeah. Um, down campus, uh, kind of off in its own little area, but I spend a lot of my time there. Sure. Um, and it's kind of small, like the school is just growing. It used to only be a school for graduate students. Okay. And so they just opened it to undergrad, um, and there's two departments, political science and international affairs, and oh, that's, man. My, that's my department. So. What are like some of the struggles or challenges that you've had in your faith in college life? Yeah, I think um, <laughs> someone, someone said this to me one time, but I think that kind of the point where you get to college, kind of 19, 20 years old, yeah. is kind of like the year that like a young man starts to like grow into the man that he'll be like for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And so I think college, college is like a very pivotal time for that. Um, and so it's kind of hard because you're immediately kind of thrown into this environment where you really have no restrictions. I mean, your parents aren't there. Um, but really, like, your free time is your own. And so yeah. you can kind of spend it however you want in a way, like, as, as bad as that can seem. And so you have to be, like, in a way, you got to be really responsible about yourself. But you need to make, um, put restrictions on yourself, And I think, and, like, really get to know, like, um, your boundaries and stuff and just who you are as a man. And, like, you got to grow. I think college, freshman, sophomore year are very important into growing to the, like, into the man that you're going to become for, for the rest of your life. So yeah. definitely a lot of challenges just with people around you. I mean, peer, peer pressure is a big thing. And, like, sure. I think it's important to know, like, your morals and who you are as a man before going into certain situations where, um, like, you could fall into sin or peer pressure or um, yeah. environments that can just even just lead to that. So how has St. Mary's kind of helped you in, uh, in some of those struggles? Yeah, um, I think uh, at first, I I didn't I kind of grew to um, to love St. Mary's. It wasn't wasn't instant. It took a long time um, starting my freshman year, but it's been definitely a safe haven and yeah, definitely home for sure. Yeah. Um, but most of all, I think specifically, it's been a place where like the sacraments are really and easily available for me. Mm -hmm. um, the ability to, to like go to confession whenever I need it, um, even though the lines are you know like an hour long. That's hour crazy. Wait. Um, sometimes longer. Yeah. Just, just even awesome. the ability. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great thing. But even the ability to just to have like confession just so readily available, you know, like an eight minute bike ride from my dorm is just super, super nice. Um, yeah. Obviously, mass offered. Uh, mass is offered every day. Some days it's offered at uh, noon and at five thirty. Uh, mass on Sundays. But really, the student center is what like kind of brought it all together for me. So like being able to go and study throughout yeah. the day and then go to mass at night or study and then go to confession and then come back and study afterwards. It's, it's a great place, not only just to like have the sacraments readily available, but a great place to like meet people as well. And like, okay. kind of like a home base sort of. Yeah, St. Mary's is becoming known as this vocations mm -hmm. machine, yeah. like cranking <laughs> yeah. out vocations. Definitely for the state of Texas, yeah. Absolutely, sure. Absolutely. And, and really the, oh, the United too. States, yeah. yeah, the whole country. What's the secret? What's the secret? Yeah, what are, I, they, are they putting something in the incense? I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think we just have like this, we're just on fire. Like, I think all of us here are on fire, and I think a large part of it has to do with A&M, the university as a whole. Okay. Um, I think that, like, we're one of the last public universities in the state of Texas and maybe the country that, like, really holds true to, like, the values that America really, like, should emphasize, which is, like, family, faith. Um, like, really, like, what, what brought us together as a country, like, in 1776 is, like, we've lost that, I think. Mm. And, like, A&M just has that for some reason. And we, everybody here, like, whether they're, they're Protestant or Catholic or even, like, another faith, everyone here is religious. And sure. you, you'll very rarely meet, like, people here that aren't tapped into their religion or their morals in some way. Yeah. And it's not a secular place at all. It feels very, even, even like leaving St. Mary's, it's a very religious-focused, God-focused place. And so I think A&M has, like, created, like, a breeding ground for St. Mary's to be what it is. Okay. Um, and so partially, yeah, just because A&M is a great university as a whole. Yeah. Um, it kind of has a lot of things going for it. Like, it's definitely on the, like, cheaper-ish side if you're in-state. And, like, you know, it's not... As far as the other like public schools in Texas, it's it's probably the best one. I guess. Yeah. Um, it's you're less, not just saying that because you're going. No, here. yeah, I'm not, I'm not biased by the way. But but and then I think definitely there's an element of the Holy Spirit is really present here. I mean, we have yeah. the largest Catholic student body in the country. Yeah. Um, and I think a combination of just A&M as a whole, and then like that has allowed St. Mary's to grow into what it is because yeah. of the culture that we cultivate here. You know, Catholicism and Texas A&M yeah. have a lot in common, especially yeah. when it comes to traditions. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. So has St. Mary's become one of those Aggie traditions with Catholic Aggies. Yeah, um, I think I think so. I think it's getting there. Um, yeah. I think it I think it needs a little more time, maybe yeah. like ten years. But um, <laughs> it, it's getting there, and I think it I, I think it definitely is. Um, but uh, yeah, like yeah, like I said, we have the largest Catholic student population. Yeah. Um, if we can keep that up, I think it'll like definitely 
be instilled as a tradition. Um, it's pretty cool. We're getting like, I'd say like one out of every, uh, one out of all our Yale leaders is Catholic every year, at least one. So I feel like we can keep that streak going. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> get like get more of a name out. People definitely like people here that aren't Catholic. They know they heard about St. Mary's. Yeah. Um, but I think just like a few more years, like we can really like nail that in, nail that in as like a tradition yeah. for, for a and I got here last night so. and was, went to the Rock and as oh, I'm yeah, walking yeah. through the hallways here, I got to see the RCIA classes and, mm -hmm. and they're going, oh my goodness, they're yep. just packed. Yeah, what's well, cool that like we have different groups happen at the exact same time. So like we'll have the Rock and we'll, we'll have RCIA too, like yeah. happening in different rooms. Like there's at least three to four things happening throughout this whole student center at a time, time. Like so, yeah. on any given night pretty yeah, much. Yeah, if you don't, if you can't find something, it's your own fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But essentially, yes, pretty yeah. much, yeah. So what does St. Mary's mean to you? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a very authentic place. Um, I've met like all my best friends here, all my roommates that I live with right now. Yeah. Um, it's very authentic and it's very real to me. Um, I feel like when I come here, I'm not worried about like my classes or I'm not worried about, even though I do homework here and I get stressed, you know, when I'm doing my homework, but yeah. I, I'm not worried about my classes and what other people are thinking about me and like what, what the world's telling me to do. Like it feels, it definitely feels like very much like home, but it feels authentic and like real and um, very genuine. The people you meet here, no matter who they are, like they'll look you in the eyes when they talk to you and they'll treat you with respect. Um, and there's just a, a common like shared, um, just like love for the faith that you, can't really find anywhere else. Um, mm -hmm. Although that's very present at, on A&M, just as a whole. Yeah. But yeah, very authentic. I appreciate it. Absolutely, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Joe. My pleasure, my pleasure.